Because the symptoms of inflammatory breast cancer are visible, it's redness of the breast. One of the primary things is the rapid increase in breast size. That's one of the most common symptoms. That's what makes it look like an infection between that and the redness. And the skin will look like the peel of an orange. The challenge is two patients may not look the same. A textbook diagnosis is usually a very exaggerated picture of the, of the symptoms and that can make it very difficult for someone to get an adequate diagnosis. If a physician's not familiar with the disease, a patient may show up, they say, I have these symptoms, take a look at it, and they go, well, don't worry about it. It can't be anything serious. Unfortunately, many physicians, because they haven't seen the disease, will just dismiss women, especially if we're younger, since it doesn't necessarily show on a mammogram. And we can be told we're, I was told I was a hypochondriac nurse with my symptoms initially. <laughs> by a radiologist. And that's really difficult for patients, especially if you're not in an academic center where they may see more cases of inflammatory breast cancer. When we talk to patients who contact us by phone or by email, we'll remind them that they know their body better than anyone else. And if they're uncomfortable with the answers they get, to keep asking questions till they get an adequate diagnosis, since this is a clinical you know, diagnosis. You can't rely upon a blood test or a mammogram or something like that. It makes it much more challenging. You have to really be your own advocate.